This month has made history in a lot of ways when it comes to the presidential election. I sat down with former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson, a conservative who isn't on board with Donald Trump leading the party, to hear how he feels of the state of politics and the big race today. Look at what happened. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Thank goodness he wasn't killed. I was amazed at the strength that he showed at the time. I hope that uh, God works in his heart as uh, clearly he recognized that uh, except for the grace of God, uh, he would have been killed that day. Former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson says he appreciates the tone of strength and unity former President Donald Trump took after an assassin tried to take his life, a theme that was clear in his RNC nomination acceptance speech. The first part, which was scripted, uh, was outstanding. It was uh, human, it was encouraging, it was unifying, and he saw that as an opportunity to bring America together. And harsh rhetoric, as he pointed out, it went too far. But does he think the new tone will last? I uh, expect him uh, to resort to his uh, usual uh, demeanor and uh, attack lines. And so I think the uh, old Donald Trump will be very vigorous this fall uh, in going after Kamala Harris. You said, quote, I am not going to support somebody who's been convicted of a serious felony or who is disqualified under our Constitution. Well, now the Republican Party, once again, seems to be in lockstep behind Trump. If you voted today, would you support him? Will you support him in November? My uh, statements, my convictions are important to me. I'm a former federal prosecutor. I follow the rule of law. And so, uh, uh, yes, I do not, uh, I intend to vote Republican, but uh, don't expect that to be for Donald Trump. J.D. Vance, he was once a very vocal Trump critic. Now he's done a complete 180. That's okay, uh, because you know, if he's genuine about it, he answers that by saying, I saw Trump in action, I was wrong before. I think he can handle that flip-flopping all right. Asa says he feels that part of adding respect back into politics is recognizing the big moments your political rivals face, such as President Joe Biden deciding to end his campaign for another term. You know, it was a moment that you could actually say something nice about someone else and uh, recognize his lifetime of service uh, and that he put the country above himself and stepping aside. Those are easy words and important words that we need to hear from time to time. And now that Vice President Kamala Harris is pursuing the Democratic nomination. I do expect this to be a, a closer race than it was against Joe Biden a week ago. And now I bring that same vigor to a fight in another battle, and that battle is for the future of our country and the soul of our party. You ended your presidential campaign after the Iowa caucuses. What did you take away from the campaign trail? The running for president was uh, being able to see the heart of our country up close. And there's one important thing that I observed, and that is people all across our country care about our future. Well, Asa is staying busy, planning to teach at the University of Arkansas Law School next year while continuing business endeavors and security consulting, drawing from his experience with the Department of Homeland Security. He says he's also enjoying his time serving in one of his favorite roles, being a grandpa.